Right, so we're here to react to my Champions League quarterfinal predictions that I made quite a few weeks ago. I think it was like three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I can't remember. But anyways, let's just say they did not go as planned. Okay, they did far worse than go as planned, but it is what it is. Um, well, I really have nothing else to say, so let's just get straight into it. Let's go to the first matchup. The first matchup was Manchester City versus Borussia Dortmund. Personally, I love both teams. And I wish both of them could go through because they have a lot of good talent and experienced players. Both teams are very, very interesting to watch. They play such beautiful football. Or soccer, sorry. Um, but I, I love both teams. I wish they could both go tr go through, but of course, only one went through, and that was Manchester City. To be fair, both games were very interesting. Borussia Dortmund had chances in both matches, and I believe there was a moment where Jude Bellingham had a chance to actually score, but his goal was ruled um, was annulled because of because of a foul on Ederson, which personally. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. But so my prediction was a uh, 5-2 victory to Manchester City, right? And I was so close. I was so close. It was actually a 4-2 victory. I gave Manchester City just one extra goal um, at home, which I thought they were going to get. They could have got, in my opinion, but they just didn't. And it sucks. I mean, British Dortmund nearly got an assist. And then an assist, a tie in the first in the first leg, um, but Phil Foden saved their butts. Phil Foden was phenomenal in the matches, but so was Jude Bellingham. Those two youngsters, English youngsters, are playing so well, and they're both so young. I believe Phil Foden's nineteen, while Jude Bellingham's like seventeen or eighteen. That's it's crazy. It's crazy. They're both such young talents, and they're bringing their own club. They're bringing so much. Um, just quality to their teams at such a young age, which is incredible. Of course, in this new era that we're witnessing with the the famous players coming, uh, getting older, like Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Ramos, all those players, they're all getting older. The new generation is stepping in, and they're getting younger and younger. The best players that you're hearing about are pretty young. They're not even in their 20s yet. They're teenagers, and yet we're hearing about them so much. Maybe it's because of their age, but it's also due to their talent, their quality that they're bringing to the season. And it showcases mostly to the Dortmund. Dortmund always have young talent. While Manchester City, they're bringing in new talent that are youngsters. But Phil Foden, he's a youngster who came up through the academy, I believe. And that's incredible. But either way, the matchup was really good. Both matches were very well fought from both sides and it really sucks for Dortmund not to go through um they're the first German team well they're one of the last German teams to progress um but yeah but yeah so I was so close one goal away for the aggregate um but yeah I think I did a pretty good job I I mean I corrected I got the correct team going through so one out of one pretty good so far pretty good let's go on to the next one So the next one, the next one was Real Madrid, Liverpool. Yeah, about that one, about that one. Not, not the best, not. <laughs> I predicted Liverpool to go through on the Wiggles. That didn't happen, obviously. Um, they could have. There was a chance that they that they could have done that if they would have won their second leg two 0 um, I was hoping. I was hoping for that. I predicted a three one, I believe, and then I predicted a two 0 I did predict that both teams would win one match each. I just thought that Liverpool would have actually won the second match, 
because I had faith in them because they first of all they made a comeback before in the Champions League after a defeat of that um severity. I know this season they haven't been the best, neither have but neither have Real Madrid. This season no big team is not without their faults. Man City, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, Inter Milan, all of them have had their struggles. But I mean to be fair, this Champions League is right for the taking for anyone. But obviously now we have our semi-finalists. And I thought Liverpool was going to be one of them. I was incorrect. I predicted a 3-3 aggregate, but it was 3-1. So I was two goals away. It's, it's the little things. It's the little things. I mean, two goals is quite a bit um, to get wrong. But I mean... Was I close? Kind of? Yes? No? Not really. Because I didn't even get the correct team going through. So, yeah. It sucks to Liverpool. But to be fair, they didn't play that well. They just didn't. And they didn't put away the chances that they needed. Real Madrid, they succeeded defensively despite losing their two main center backs, which is Rafael Varane and Sergio Ramos. But they, And they played well. They played well. They took chances. They took their chances. Even if they weren't the most beautiful goals. Um, Liverpool gifted them a few goals, but they took their chances. That's that's what soccer is all about. What football is all about. It's just taking the chances that you see. You exploit the the faults of the opposing team and score the goals that you can. Doesn't matter how you score them. It's about actually scoring them. The better team doesn't win. It's the team that scores the most goals. And in this case, it was Real Madrid. And honestly, they did play better. They were a better team. Uh, team. <laughs> It sucks to say, because of course I'm a Barcelona fan. And I honestly, I didn't want to root for either of them. But if I had to root for one, I would have to root for Liverpool. But it didn't go through. Now Real Madrid are in the semifinals. It's Man City and Real Madrid both in the semifinals. But they're not playing against each other. Because they're actually playing against one of these two. Okay, so it's Chelsea versus Porto. This one, I found an interesting matchup because Chelsea, they have been playing more defensively under Thomas Tuchel. And Porto have been quite... Hmm. How, how, how can I put this? It's... I can't find the right word, but they've... They've surprised a lot of people in the Champions League. I mean, first of all, they knocked out Juventus. No one thought Juventus was, was going to lose against Porto. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And Chelsea, from the likes of it, no one expected Chelsea to, to go through either. And yet, they were both in the quarterfinals, while the other teams were not. Which just goes to show that this Champions League is is one that was not as predictable. And in this case, I was actually able to predict the winner of this tie, which was Chelsea. I predicted a 4-2 victory to... No, wait. A 4-1 victory um, to Chelsea on aggregate, which was definitely not the case. I was <laughs> another two goals off. I predicted 4-1 when it was actually 2-1 to Chelsea. Although, they did play a very good first match. Their second match, mm, not that very entertaining. I saw it while watching the other match. But, yeah, not, not the most entertaining matches if I... If I do say so myself. Um, but, I mean, it's what it is. But both teams played well. I mean, I believe Porto's Taremi scored a brilliant, absolutely excellent um, bicycle kick goal in the second match. In the time minutes of it. It didn't really matter. But, I mean, could be the goal of the freaking tournament. I think it's definitely up there. I think it, it should be. Uh, I think another one that could be up there is Messi's goal against PSG. And the second leg, but I think Tarami's goal beats it. Anyways, that's besides the point. Good job to Chelsea. Good luck in the semifinals because you are actually facing Real Madrid. And I think that's going to be a very interesting match. I don't think they faced each other in, a, in quite a while. So it'll be interesting. And both Real Madrid and Chelsea have had a few seasons. Like, they, it's been a few seasons since they've made it to the semifinals. Chelsea longer because they've been struggling in the Champions League. But Real Madrid, I think the past, what, three seasons that they haven't made it to the Champions League? Semi-finals, semi-finals. But 
I mean, that's besides the point. They're both on decent form. I th I'd say Real Madrid are on better form. But that's besides the point. That's for my predictions. But that's in another video. Um, anyways, good job to Chelsea. Um, sorry, Porto, but he has did a good job. So, on to the last one. So, Manchester City is facing the winner of this tie. Bayern Munich versus PSG. Obviously, I went for Bayern Munich. 4-3 on aggregate. It was just one goal. <laughs> one goal away. I was... Oh, after that first leg. After that first leg match. Oh, what an entertaining match it was, too. Oh, my goodness. I saw that match. Bayern Munich dominated that match. Absolutely dominated that match. Many, many shots. I know a lot of them were from long range, and it was pretty easy for Kaylor Navas. And But, I mean, still credit to Kaylor Navas and to the defense of PSG. They were able to block their shots. They were able to protect their side and not concede as many goals as they did. They conceded two, but, I mean, they could have conceded more. They really conceded more. And if Lewandowski was there, maybe they could, maybe Bayern Munich could have scored more. But on the day, it just wasn't, it wasn't Bayern Munich's day. PSG were able to scrape out a 3-2. I say scrape because they didn't play that well. They played on the counterattack, but they took their chances, which is what I said for the Real Madrid and Liverpool match. And Liverpool? <laughs> Liverpool match. Because you have to take chances when you get them. If you don't take your chances, you can never win. And Bayern Munich just didn't take their chances. They had many chances, but they didn't score the goals that they needed to. They did score two from Chupa Moting, uh, PSG, a former PSG player, and Thomas Muller. But maybe with a, another striker like Lewandowski, you could have scored more. Could have been maybe a 5-3 victory then and there. But, I mean, credit to Mbappe and Neymar. They were excellent on both, Ooh, both during both matches. Especially Neymar. I think he got mad of the match for the second uh, leg where they defended very well. They still conceded a goal. PSG, that is. But they didn't concede the second, which was very important. They could have conceded the second, but they just didn't. And they were they created a little more. From the first leg to the second leg, they created a little more. They just couldn't get the goals. I believe Neymar hit the crossbar or post uh, twice or three times, I think. But unlucky for Bayern Munich. But, I mean, PSG did play well. You can't... They didn't play their... At their very best, in my opinion. But they did play well. They played very defensive. Well, not they didn't play very defensive. But they were very defensively sound. Which is very important in, in soccer overall. Neuer shouldn't have conceded that first goal in the first leg. But Mbappe was just too clinical on that day. Just too clinical. But either way, good job to PSG. Good job to Bayern. Um, it sucks that Bayern are out. But... You never know. So it'll be Man City versus PSG, which will be a very entertaining match. And I will comment more on it in my predictions video, which will be coming soon. It'll it'll probably come out just a little before the semifinal start, the first leg at least. All right. So obviously, these were entertaining matches. And uh, I think in my predictions video, I will cover the Europa League semifinals because those are pretty interesting matches as well. Anyways, so I only ended up getting two out of the four teams going through. I only got two correct semifinalists. I was very close. I was one to two goals away for all of them, which was pretty astounding for me, at least for the aggregate. But I only got two correct teams, which is not bad, but it's, I mean, it's 50%, but uh, that's not a passing grade. I would have liked at least three, but that just didn't happen. I was close, but get so far it's all right uh hopefully i have better luck in my next prediction video but until then see you later Rates.